Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the afternoon session of the first Virtual Students Conference. I am using the opportunity to thank the scientific committee for inviting me to be the speaker here. In the coming hour, I will present to you live surgery related to the socket preservation and wrist preservation. Enjoy. Okay, today's case is a 37-year-old male patient who came to the, our clinic a few weeks ago. He came with a chief complaint in the upper jaw on the left side position first molar. So the first molar was RCT treated a few years ago and also the restoration as a portion of fuse of the metal crown was made on that tooth. So, by the clinical examination, we noted the presence of the fistula in a position of the buccal and palatal side, as well as the periodontal defect, which are approximately uh, 7 to 9 millimeter depth. So, you can see on the X-ray there is a huge bone resorption around the roots, especially around the mesial and the distal root. Also, there was a notice of the uh, in the position of the bacodistal part, about the bacodistal part, there was a notice of the piece of the something which you will see later in the surgery. Uh, I expect that it is a part of the endo instrument. Patient also complained on the presence of the remaining roots in the lower jaw, the position of the first molar, uh, right side. So, X-ray shows the RCT treated the tooth, but also the, the radicular cyst located on the top of the distal root. So, also there is a very thin wall which is uh, present between the distal and mesial root. So, observing all of these things, our plan was to remove and to make the extraction of the both teeth and in the future to do replacement of the missing teeth in the implants. But we need to protect and to prepare the bone for the future implant placement. That is the reason why we will go to the socket preservation and the ridge preservation. Ridge preservation in the upper jaw and socket preservation in the lower jaw. During the surgery, I will use the two materials. First will be the Easy Grafts Crystal, that is an alloplastic material, mixture of the 40 percentages beta-3 calcium phosphate and 60 percentages of the mixture is a hydroxyapatid. All the granules of this grafting material, they are covered with the polylactic coglycolid, which is a material known as a membrane. So when we are using this grafting material, we don't need to use a membrane. Also, we will collect and connect all these granules with the biolinker, which is a chemically and metal 2 pyrrolidin, and that will be much easier to keep the old grafting material in a defect. Second material is a mucograft membrane from the Geislich company. So this is a 3D collagen matrix which is designed for the soft tissue regeneration. So usually you can see we are using that for the socket preservation and compared to the autogenetic graft it is first reducing the pain, then reducing the surgical chair time, it's providing the very good vascularization and it's providing the excellent wound healing. After giving the anesthesia for the posterior superior alveolar nerve block as well as for the medial superior alveolar nerve block, we are going to the uh, giving anesthesia for the great palatal nerve block and also we will add it a little bit anesthetic on the position of the palatal side of the second premolar in order to uh, cause the vasoconstriction from the vasoconstrictor in the local anesthesia. Using the straight elevator, we are starting with the extraction of the first uh, upper left molar. Slowly rotation will cause the luxation of the teeth. Definitely you can see there is a crown and we are expecting that the crown will be the de attached from the roots. And in order to provide the better uh, extraction. Definitely we need to separate the roots by the straight hand piece. We are separating the bacomasian and bacodistal and also the palatal roots. And after that extraction should be much easier the uh, force for the remaining roots on the, of the upper jaw. This is a way how we will definitely protect the alveolar bone. After extraction, we need to make the curettage of the extraction socket using the spoon curette and also sometimes we are using the periodontal curette 
as you can see here, to just remove the soft tissue from the distal side of the second premolar and also from the mesial side of the first, pre, uh, first molar. On this way we are basically cleaning and preparing the extraction socket, socket for the further steps. So, I will just slowly cleaning the flat, the suction of the flat, the suction here. I don't like it. Good. And then sit here. I'm trying to see. What you have? Is it fine? Yeah, no, it's okay. Remove, remove. Here, thumb, left thumb. Good. Okay, now what I will do, I will slowly uh the part of flap in order to lift the part of flap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I'm suturing, you can see I'm just passing from the parietal side to the buckle and again I'm going back. And this I'm just using to pull and to retract the flap. On this way we can provide a much better visibility, especially on the palatal side. So this is a way how we can easily lift the palatal flap. You can see, especially on the powerful side, that we have the resorption. Is it visible on the camera? Resorption? Is it visible? Extraction socket? Yeah, it is. Most so, so down, down. Down. From, the, from your hand down. From your hand down. No, the other way. More, more, more. Okay, that's okay. Okay. So yes. you can see, it's a it's, uh, huge defect on the powerful side, which is going definitely like a few millimeters, so we will, we will fill that with the graphing material. Okay. Okay, so uh, you can see in the package we have the two parts. The par first is a granular, as I told you, this is a beta TCP. So that is a basically combination of the beta TCP, 40% of the beta TCP and 60% uh, uh, of the hydroxyapatite. Okay, so in the second package we have the bio -lin linker. Bio linker is n metal 2 pyrrolidin so you can see this is a linker and then I need to open the linker and place in the syringe and after that to mix approximately 10 times okay I'm opening removing the this part then putting the bio linker inside then I'm just trying to mix so okay can you see I'm just mixing, trying that the biolinker will go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like the push up. Mm -hmm. Nine, ten. So the biolinker is basically going all around all these granula. So after that, we are just removing the biolinker like this one, and then we are just keeping the granula inside. Can I try and keep this here? Go on this way. Not from there. Okay. Give me a break out of the No, I will not. Can I get it? Come on. Okay, okay. I'm happy to open. Chance the attack. Ready? Remove the suction. Okay. 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 Okay, and then to the another extraction socket also, so you can see. Then I'm just trying to 
adapters inside on the every extraction socket. So you can see the material start to be very hard because the biolinker is connecting the granules. And you have the options to shape the, the alveolar ridge. So you can see we have the nice shape, the granula, they are connected together. It's quite, and even if we leave that exposed, it will, after the few weeks, it will be capitalized. Okay, let me check now. We will need more material. All this will be enough. Yes, I right think to the right. Yes, the I think that we need a little bit more material. So I will just try to place more material here. Okay, there is retraction. It's much better. Okay. Try right here for the recording. Give me the. But it's better with this camera, so I just use the hair. Okay, so you can see, maybe the little bit I will add the more grafting material because I want that the grafting material will be in the level of the outer crest, especially on the buckle side. So maybe you can see also on the palatal side what we have. Good, okay, so just a small membrane. Okay, let's see how it looks in the mirror. So can you see now? Right. Okay, move your the air switch. Okay, good, 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 perfect, perfect. So you can see, so it's completely filled now. So what I will do now, I will just make the simplest suturing, like the horizontal matted suturing also, to just close the flap. Definitely it will be the part of the grafting material exposed, but we will just leave that to heal spontaneously. Okay. For the oil, please. Retraction. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do the simple shooting. Okay, you're good. Yes. Yes, thank you very much for doing retraction. Yes, thank you. Proper retraction. A little bit more from the bottom. Yes. Yes, thank you. Suction, please. Suction on this one. Great. Just one moment, please. Okay, thank you. Contraction. Okay. Remove that. Remove. Thank you very much. Right. Mm. Well done. Next part. Thank you. 
Can you just please move to my hand a little bit? Okay, so is it good in the camera? Yeah, it's good retraction though. Yes, good, perfect. Okay. Retraction in this. Figure eight is just to keep the grafting material in the socket because sometimes, especially when you have the when you have the bleeding from the extraction socket. It can be, the grafting material can be pushed out. Retract a little bit more to the right, to the mirror, to the right. Okay, perfect. Really okay, so can you see now? So you can see the grafting material is down. So I place the two uh, two uh, single stitches, and also I place the uh, eight figure uh, uh, suture. So in order to hold the grafting material inside. So in this part, I'm just leaving the. Uh, easy graft to uh, heal spontaneously. Within four weeks, we will have the completely epitalization of this part. In a lower jaw, I will use the easy graft and as well as I will use the, the moco graft. Okay, so this is now the upper jaw. We are shifting to the lower. So we are now uh, going to the next step in our okay, surgery okay. that is uh, treatment of the lower jaw. Uh, as you know from the beginning, mm -hmm. I explained you that the 246 uh, is indicated for the extraction after giving for the block anesthesia uh, for the inferior abdominal nerve and for the lingual nerve, and as well as I will give the later for the buccal nerve. Uh, I will go to the extraction of the tooth, and the socket will be filled with the easy graft. And comparing to the um, uh, situation in the upper jaw, I will cover the easy graft with the muco graft. Uh, and on that way, we will have the options to compare the two possibilities, even when we are leaving the easy graft exposed or when we are placing the muco graft over the easy graft. In order to make the easier extraction of the remaining roots and uh, also to make the less trauma to the tissue, I am advising the separation of the roots and using the straight elevator to make the easier extraction. Also, I would like to remind you that on the X-ray we notice radicular cysts. So after the extraction, we need to make the curettage of the extraction socket in order to remove the cyst. You can see here extraction socket. The septum interradicular is, is present here, which is basically making the easier filling of the grafting material. We will just put in the each of the of the sockets, distal and mesial. Okay, so the idea is to fill the, the easy graft and then to cover the, the muco graft. So you can see that I didn't make the, any um, incisions, I didn't leave the flap, I just would like to keep the flap attached to the bone. Yeah, this one, okay. So you can see, this is a muco graft. It has a two layers. The top one is the compact layer. It is a pure collagen. And this I will use to close the the explosion of the of the of the grafting material. Moco graft as well as as a membrane needs to be reshaped, and in this case we are just 
uh, making the similar shape like the shape of the of the extraction socket so you can see the upper part of the extraction socket so I'm just slowly cutting and removing the sharp edges uh, always trying to keep the compact part of the mucograph on the top so the spongious part of the mucograph needs to be toward to the grafting material or to the bone once again I would like to remind you that the mucograph is a pure collagen and that is the reason why this material is very acceptable <laughs> Okay, so what is next step? I will just try to pass to the tube or to the mucograph and on that way I will try to fix to the gun. Okay? So I will try with the suturing and passing the 5-0 suture to the mucograph. You can see. And also, can you give me one more? 5-0? 5-0, yes. Okay, now Okay. So also on the opposite part of the mucograft, I will pass to the 5-0 suture, you can see here. And now it's ready to be placed in the mouth. Okay, so I just need the open place. Open a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so I just did a stitching of the one part, then I need to stitch another part. Please suction, yes. Okay, one moment, one moment. So as you can see, uh, we are now trying to fix the mucograft with the 5-0. So the basically the first fixation sutures should be on the mesial and distal side of the of the mucograft mm -hmm. and to fix for the uh, surrounding soft tissue. Mm -hmm. So uh, it should be slowly sutured without tension because mm -hmm. one of the main issues for the mucograft mm -hmm. is to be without tension. So this is slowly we are going to the end of the procedure. Uh, definitely maybe the question will be uh, how long we should expect that the uh, mucograph will be healed. So the mucograph will, uh, will heal within approximately three to four weeks. Uh, on the beginning we, we are expecting that it will be like the, like the little bit uh, white area around the mucograft, but the mucograft has a very good characteristic which means the good vascularization. So uh, also uh, we will remove the stitches after the 10 days. Um, in the all cases, when I'm doing the grafting material, I'm uh, prescribing the antibiotics to the patient and order as a preventive option. In this case, we will give the erythromycin because the patient is, has an allergy on the penicillin. We will also go to the painkillers like the Voltaren and uh, applying of the intramuscular corticosteroid exosome to reduce the swelling. And also the cooling will be advised to the patient. Okay. Yes, good. So you can see the, the mucograph was fixed and sutured with the 5-0. So the, can you just make the... the yeah, yeah. So with the 5-0, with the 5-0 uh, to the um, borders of the, of the soft tissue, of the extraction socket. So we will leave this uh, in the coming, um, for the coming 10 days. After the 10 days we will remove the stitches. And I'm expecting the full vascularization of the mucograph will be within two to three weeks, okay?